Hi everybody! I'm attorney Aiden Kramer with the law office of Aiden H. Kramer in Colorado and you're watching All Up In Your Business. So we're in December now. We're smack dab in the middle of the holiday season, getting close to Christmas and New Year's and all the fun things that go along with all that stuff. As we get closer to the end of the year and starting a brand new year, a lot of business owners start thinking about what they need to do to kind of tie up loose ends from 2015 and to set themselves up for success for 2016 and start setting some goals and making sure they're going to have everything in line to have a great profitable and successful new year. So that's what I'm going to talk about today is a few things that you should be thinking about, some of the loose ends that you want to start tying up from 2015 to set yourself up in a best position for 2016. You might want to get a piece of paper and a pen to write all this down if you're the type who likes to take notes. I'll give you a couple seconds to grab those items in case you don't already have them ready. Ready? All right, let's rock this ish. As the end of the year approaches, you want to make sure you verify the information for all of your independent contractors. You'll have to start preparing 1099s to send to your independent contractors early next year. So it's best to start now and make sure you've got their mailing address, social security number, or tax ID number, and all the information you'll need to send out those 1099s come 2016. Along those same lines, of course, a new year brings new taxes to file, so you want to start making sure you've got everything in order for your CPA or your accountant or yourself if you're doing it yourself to file your taxes and make sure you've paid enough and that you won't have to hopefully owe too much to the IRS. So if you're one of those people who's just got a shoebox full of receipts, first of all, what are you doing? Come on. It's 2015. It's practically 2016. You can't start scanning those things or something. Anyway, make sure you start getting all of that in order. Have your bookkeeping in order so that when it comes time to file your taxes, your accountant, your CPA, or yourself will be able to do it with ease and everything will be accurate and correct. If your state or your operating agreement or your bylaws require that you have an annual meeting of the members or the shareholders or the owners and you haven't done that already, probably time to start thinking about holding that annual meeting. Now is a great time to start thinking about your budget for next year. Putting down some numbers, what you expect to bring in, and some of the expenses that you know you'll have or that you expect to have, making a plan of attack so you don't end up way overspending is a great idea and it's something you can do now if you haven't done it already. Another way you want to start planning for next year is to start thinking about and writing down some of the goals that you have for your business for next year. Now is a good time to check your status with the Secretary of State and make sure your business is still in good standing. Maybe you forgot to file that periodic report that you're required to file every year. It's okay, usually uh, you can go back and fix that, no harm, no foul. But go on to the Secretary of State. Most states' websites allow you to check the status of companies just online and it's really easy. So go on, double check that your company is still in good standing. And you know, while you're there, you might as well think about if you need to amend your articles of organization. If uh, maybe your business name has changed or you moved, your primary business location has moved, or you changed your res registered agent, you can file articles of amendment to amend your articles of organization to update that information with any new addresses or names that may have changed. If your business is not already taxed as an S corporation, now's a good time to start thinking about if maybe that's the right thing for you to do for next year. After the new year, you have two and a half months to file paperwork to elect to be taxed as an S corporation. So if you haven't already done it, talk to your CPA and determine if maybe that's the right thing to do because the time, the clock is going to start ticking and you'll have a limited amount of time to do that next year. Dust off all those old contracts you have with people like suppliers, vendors, service providers. There's a good chance 
Some of them may have already expired or will be expiring, and it'll be time to start thinking about if you can renegotiate some terms of those contracts before you get into another one. Many contracts will have a requirement that if you want to cancel an agreement, you have to give a certain amount of times written notice. So you say 30 days written notice. So reviewing those contracts will help jog your memory that, oh, I need to give this person 30 days written notice because I want to cancel our contract next year. And finally, schedule meetings. Schedule meetings with anybody who you're going to need to meet with soon at the end of this year or next year. People like your CPA or your accountant get together with them soon to make sure you've got everything they need and that there won't be any issues or questions that come up during tax time. Maybe meet with your attorney to make sure you've taking care of all the stuff that I've written here and that you're going to be in compliance and that your business's contracts are still good. Uh, just go over everything from the past year and make sure you're going to be in a good position next year with your attorney. I know there's a lot going on towards the end of the year, holidays and family, and probably the last thing you want to think about is all of these loose ends that you need to tie up with your business. But doing it now will put you in the best position to have a successful and prosperous next year. If you guys have any other ideas for things that you do towards the end of the year for your business, I would love to hear them. Please uh, comment them below. If you're in Colorado and you would like to speak with me personally about your business and making sure you're doing everything right for the new year, feel free to contact me. My phone number and email are below. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. I hope your holiday season is going splendidly. I'm Aiden Kramer and I'll see you next time.